Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, learners. It's been a long time since we met physically. This has been due to the coronavirus pandemic. But I hope you are fine and then safe at home. Let's continue to be safe. Let's continue to observe the protocols. As you can see, we are currently in the English language class. And specifically today, we are going to concentrate on comprehension. And the passage for the comprehension lesson is a book versus a do. Now you can see some keywords there. There's the word station, poultry, feeding, layers, craze, carefully, policeman, parents, kinky, prepares, receive. I'm sure you are already familiar with most of these words. However, I'm going to take you briefly through the passage and I'll explain some of them as I go through the passage. And that does not mean you should just watch the video or listen to the audio and then go straight to answer the questions without going through the books. If you have your textbooks at home, especially the English reader, it will do you a lot of good. Otherwise, you can rely on the information or the scanned documents that will be uploaded together with the video in order to understand the passage and to answer the questions that follow. Now without much I do, let me go straight to the passage. Ebo and Edu are good friends. Ebo comes from Mankesim. And Mankesim is a town in the central region. His father is a policeman. Ebo lives with his father at a police station. You know what that means? The police station is where it is, is a structure where policemen have been. I mean, where policemen have been uh, stationed. In other words, where some policemen have been deployed or sent to to help to maintain law and order. So when you go there, you always find one or two or even more, especially those that will be on duty for that particular day. The police station is at Oda, and Oda is a town in the eastern region. Edu's father is a poultry farmer. And we know poultry are bears that are red at home. Usually, those we call poultry are the exotic ones, as opposed to the local. The poultry farm is in a village. The village is called Abiasi, also somewhere in the eastern region. Edu walks from the village to school. Sometimes Edu brings eggs to Ebo. After school, Ebo and Edu go to Ebo's mother's shop. Ebo's mother is Mami Fanti. Mami Fanti sells kinky and fish. That's for kinky. I know we've all encountered that. While we were in school, that's what we took mostly during break. The two boys eat some kinky and fish. One Saturday, Ebo told his parents, 
I want to visit my friend Edu. The parents allowed Ebo to visit his friend at Abiasi. Edu was happy to see Ebo. He took Ebo to his father. Edu's father was at the poultry farm. Edu's father was busy feeding the hens. In other words, providing them with food to eat. The hens are layers. And layers are poultry that are red purposely for the laying of eggs. They laid many eggs. Edu's father was also happy to see a book. Edu brought some empty crates. And from the uh, picture in the scan document, you can see a bow and then a do holding crates of eggs. Usually, that is where eggs are, are uh, put for distribution, or it's a case that um, uh, contain or that's where eggs are picked and then are kept safely. They carefully picked the eggs carefully here to avoid breaking or crushing them. They put 30 eggs in each crate. Later, a woman came to buy some eggs. She will boil the eggs and sell them at the lorry station. So, just as we see in our local uh, stations or bus terminals or at the markets, people boil and sell them. Edu's mother is Ya Mary. She prepared lunch for Ebo and Edu. The lunch was rice and stew. Ebo and Edu had four eggs to share. Edu took two and gave two to Ebo. The boys helped Edu's father to collect more eggs. Ebo wanted to go back. Edu's parents gave a crate of eggs to Ebo. Ebo was very happy. He took the eggs to his parents. They were happy to receive the 30 eggs. So basically that is what the story is about. You can see two very close friends who share virtually everything they have and then they visit um, each other when necessary. And you can see how well they relate to their parents. And so this is a, a very good story that you can also learn some important lessons about life from. But there are questions that follow. And so I'll urge you to watch the video carefully and possibly go through the passage once again and answer the questions A and then B. The A says answer these questions. So they are short questions. So you would write a question, answer, leave a line before you move to the next question. The, the B, there are incomplete words. In other words, words with some letters missing. They put some letters in the boxes up there. You're supposed to fill in the spaces provided with the letters in the boxes. This is something we used to do in school. All too soon we've come to the end of the lesson. I hope you will uh, I hope you will enjoy it too when you take a, a look at it. Thank you very much for your attention. See you next time.